Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner of SeasonAndServeBlog.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my Maltese stuffed artichokes. These are absolutely delicious and they're my grandma's recipe so they're super special to me. And not only will I show you how to prepare fresh green artichokes, I'll also show you how to make this recipe and most importantly how to tackle eating these. So if you want to see how I make my Maltese stuffed artichokes, just keep on watching. For this recipe, you'll need fresh baguette, oregano, lemon, garlic, fresh artichokes, parsley, potatoes, olive oil, and Kalamata olives. Artichokes are part of the thistle family and they start arriving in stores in late spring. When shopping for artichokes, make sure that they're nice and green and that the leaves are tightly packed together. We'll begin this recipe by making the bread stuffing. Take a fresh baguette and then slice it up into half inch cubes. To help get the perfect size cubes, I like to slice the baguette down the middle and then cut each half in half and then go ahead and cube it up. For this recipe, you'll want to make sure to use very fresh baguette. You don't want day old bread here because it makes stuffing the artichokes a little bit more difficult. Once you have all the bread cut into little cubes, add it to a large mixing bowl. Next, we'll take our garlic and slice it up into slices and then finally dice it into little pieces. Once that's all chopped up, go ahead and add it to the mixing bowl with the bread. Next, remove the leaves from a bunch of fresh parsley and chop it up into fine pieces. And you definitely want to use fresh parsley in this recipe as opposed to dried because fresh parsley is really light, bright, and super refreshing in this recipe. Once you have all the parsley chopped up, divide the pile into half. Add one half to the mixing bowl and then add the other half to a small jar on the side to reserve for garnishing later. Next we'll chop up the Kalamata olives. These olives are absolutely delicious and they add a nice salty bite to this recipe. Before I chopped up my Kalamata olives, I made sure to give them a light rinse in cold water. You want to get a little bit of the brine off or else it'll be way too salty in the end. So just a light rinse and some cold water will do the trick. In total, you will need one cup of chopped Kalamata olives for this recipe. For the complete measurements and full directions, I will leave those linked in the description box below. And once your Kalamata olives are chopped up, transfer them into your large mixing bowl. To give the bread stuffing a nice savory flavor, we are adding in some dried oregano. And we'll also add in half a cup of olive oil. It seems like a lot, but it is a lot of bread and the olive oil really helps to soften that up so it makes stuffing the artichokes a lot easier. Then use a spoon to toss everything together to combine and then set aside while we prepare our artichokes. Lemons are a key ingredient when preparing fresh artichokes as they prevent oxidization from happening when the artichoke is cut. So go ahead and slice a lemon in half and have it set right beside you to get ready to prepare the artichokes. Take a sharp knife and cut off the bottom end of the artichoke. This part is the stem and you just want to leave a couple centimeters near the top. Once you cut it off, immediately take the lemon and rub it all over the cut part. If you don't, these ends will turn brown and it will look really ugly. So use some lemon to prevent that from happening. Next, take your sharp knife and cut off about one centimeter of the top of the artichoke. This helps to open up the artichoke to make it a little bit easier for stuffing. And additionally, there's a lot of little prickly bits on top of each of the leaves. So you wanna remove that so that you don't eat it or that you don't hurt yourself when you're stuffing the artichokes later. Use our lemon trick here again to prevent any oxidization from happening on the top part of the artichoke. And here you can see the core of the artichoke. You wanna make sure that you don't cut any deeper than this. Next, repeat the process for the rest of the artichokes, rubbing each cut surface with lemon as you go to prevent any oxidization. Our next step is to remove a few layers of the outer artichoke leaves. As you can see, some of the outer leaves can get a little bit brown and this is from bruising from it being transported to the grocery store. So I like to remove the bottom two layers of the artichoke leaves, but just go up until you find that the leaves are less tough and that they're consistently green across the leaf. 
Remove a few layers of the artichoke leaves until you get to this point where you have nice, consistently green, soft and supple artichoke leaves. Then simply repeat this process for the rest of the artichokes. Next we'll get ready to stuff our artichokes and to do this simply use your fingers to pry back each of the layers of leaves. You won't be able to go all the way to the center and you won't be able to get into this core area so just do the outer leaves around that. At this point your bread stuffing should be nice and soft so take a small handful and begin to press the bread and the olives in between each of the leaves. You want to make sure to distribute all the bread and kalamata olives evenly throughout the artichoke as best as you can just so that the flavor is consistent as you eat the artichoke. And I like to stuff the artichokes working from the outer leaves inward. For some reason I find it a lot easier to fill and stuff the artichoke a little bit more than working from the inside out. But use whatever weight works best for you. Then once your first artichoke is stuffed, set it aside and then repeat the process for the rest of the artichokes. And in the end, your stuffed artichokes should look exactly like this, nice and big and open and full of lots of bread stuffing. Now we'll move on to cooking them. Fill a large pot with two to three centimeters of water on the bottom. You wanna make sure to use a really large pot for this since the artichokes are often really big. Next, add in some Yukon Gold potatoes on the bottom and my potatoes were really big so I had to cut them in half. And then I also added in the half lemon that we used to rub the artichokes with when we were preparing them. This just helps give the artichokes a little bit more flavor when they're cooking. Next, add in your stuffed artichokes and do this in one even layer. Try and make sure that there's a little bit of space in between each of the artichokes so that the steam can rise up and cook them evenly. Next, cover the pot with a lid and then bring the entire contents of the pot to a boil. Once it's boiling, reduce the heat to medium and cook for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of the artichoke. You know the artichokes are fully cooked when you can insert a paring knife into the stem of the artichoke and it goes in smoothly, and when you can easily rip off a leaf. The artichoke should also be a nice dark green color as well. Place the cooked artichokes on a plate and then drain away the water so that you're left with the potatoes. Add in a little bit of fresh parsley and give it a nice toss to coat. Once your potatoes are evenly coated in parsley, add them to the plate along with the artichokes and then bring this stunning meal to the dinner table. As a final garnish, top these artichokes with some fresh parsley and a nice drizzle of olive oil. The olive oil makes it so, so good. And there you have it, my recipe for Maltese stuffed artichokes. This is a super fun way to cook with fresh artichokes if you've never done this before and I guarantee after you make this recipe, you'll wanna make it over and over again. And now I bet you're wondering how to tackle eating these multi-stuffed artichokes. So let me show you. So even though it may not look like it, you can actually eat the leaves. So peel off a leaf, try and get a piece of bread stuffing on it, and then there I am. <laughs> Take a leaf with the bread stuffing and put it in your mouth and pull the inside piece along the bottom part of your teeth and you'll be able to scrape out the flesh on the leaf. Now there's not huge chunks of flesh on the leaves, there's just a little bit on each one, but this is a fun way to kind of have a little bit of the artichoke as well as the bread stuffing as well. So continue eating through all the leaves and working through all the layers until you get to the centerpiece, and this is the choke part of the artichoke. Remove the last little bits of leaves from the center of the artichoke until you get down to this bushy thistle piece. You can't eat this little fuzzy inner piece. This is the choke part of the artichoke and each of these hairs are really rough and if you do swallow them, 
you're not necessarily going to choke but it's going to really irritate your throat so take a spoon and remove all of the bushy little bits from the artichoke once you have all the hairs removed you'll end up with a nice tender center and this is actually the artichoke heart that many people eat the artichoke heart is the most tender part of the artichoke and it's a really great reward after eating through all those layers of leaves my favorite way to eat the artichoke heart is to actually cut it in half and then rub it in the olive oil that's left over on the plate. So that is it for today's video. If you want to try cooking with fresh artichokes, definitely give this recipe for multi-stuffed artichokes a go sometime this spring. Also if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes just like this. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.